Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to make the small dog minions costume. This is what the final product looks like right here. Uh, as you can see, it looks a little raggedy right off the bat, but uh, once the dog is wearing it, a lot of the flaws are hidden and uh, it looks pretty good actually. And uh, this is what we're going to use to to make the costume out of. And in the blog post where you can find this video, there's a link to where you can buy this as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to hollow it all out. We have to block off the top of the head by adding fabric here and keeping the stuffing up here. Then we're going to add cardboard around the back with a little arch here. So this kind of sits on the back of the neck or the shoulders. And the cardboard on the sides in here, it keeps it kind of standing upright and keeps that nice shape. And then on the sides, we have to add some more cardboard support. And then with some wire, we get the hands to stand up like that. And uh, we're just going to cut off the feet so the dog's feet can come out of here. And then the, the overalls, which you see here, we're going to alter just slightly. And those will just fit over the dog after, like this. And with the cardboard here on the back strap, these things go like this and over there. One thing I will mention though is um, you have to be a little bit crafty to pull it off. I mean it wasn't the easiest costume to make uh, to begin with and it's not a tried and tested process by any means. This is only my third time making one so uh, hopefully it goes well and that you'll be able to figure it out. Um, also I'm not sure how large of a dog this will actually fit on. So Crusoe is about 12 pounds and it fits pretty well. It also fits on his brother Oakley who is about 14 pounds. So, um, and it's already a bit tight on Oakley so I don't know how much uh, larger of a dog this will fit on. I think if you go above 15 pounds of a dog it might start to get a little bit tight. But you can see. Okay, so I'll go first go over all the items that you'll need to make this. So. As I mentioned, uh, you'll need the plush toy. There's a link on my blog on where you can get this. You'll need a hot glue gun. You could also sew it probably if you wanted. I'm more of a last minute type of guy in terms of making costumes, so I prefer the quick and dirty glue gun. You also need some black fabric, just any old t-shirt or something. Um, I prefer black because it kind of blends in better if you have a brighter color then I kind of you'll see it through behind the dog and it look as good you'll need some velcro so I have a bunch here scissors some wire and some wire cutters and something to bend them and then lastly some cardboard okay so the first step is we'll take off the pants here now, as you'll see it's already conveniently with velcro So we'll save these on the side and we'll come back to those. Okay, we'll start with uh, cutting the hole for the dog's face here. I'd recommend you do it just a little bit bigger than whatever the width of your dog's head is uh, vertically. So I'll do about the same as this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of do a pie cut. So like you start here. So we're pretty much going to cut along those lines, then bend those flaps back and glue them in the sides. That just kind of makes a, a smoother edging to the hole right here. So then it doesn't fray as much and then it's also just smoother on the dog as well. So then you'll see after, well, once we glue these flaps back, it'll be something like that. 
Now what you can do is we're going to cut off the feet right about where the blue part is, even a little bit above actually. Tag too. Okay. So we've maimed our minion here unfortunately. Okay, so now we're going to cut a hole in the back to allow for this opening back here. I'd recommend uh, about four inches from this black band here is where we start the cut all the way down to about there. So we're going to cut pretty much like that. Again, this is about four inches right there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out all the stuffing, except in the arms, and about from here up. So the top of the head we're gonna leave as well. Okay, so you see I've cleared out all the stuffing now from the main body. There's still some in the top of the head up here and in the arms. So first thing that uh, we we'll want to do is because we cut along a seam here, it's going to continue to come apart up here. So I'm going to get my glue gun and on the inside just glue this together so it doesn't come apart anymore. Okay. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of glue to the tips of each triangle here and fold it back and glue it inside. Make sure you don't put two big globs of glue or you'll kind of see bumps here. So, so then once you're done you should have this smooth opening for the dog's face. Okay, now we want to seal off the top of the head so all the stuffing doesn't fall down. So with that fabric, you want to cut about pretty much a circle shape just a little bit wider than the head of the minion. So like That should be all right. Okay, so now this part gets a little bit tricky because you got to kind of make your way inside. So you kind of got to turn it inside out a little bit. And you may actually find it easier if you remove a little bit more. And I'll show you, we'll be able to add a little bit back after. So I don't know if you can see that. So right along the bottom edge of the, the goggles there, there's a nice hard seam. So I'm going to start by gluing along there. Okay, so there you see I've glued to this side. And now I'm just going to work my way around until I've sealed off the whole top of the head. So there you go. So you see, now this is going to kind of sit on top of the dog and it keeps the top part of the head uh, nice and filled out with the stuffing. Okay, so now what you can do, if you had to remove stuffing to, to be able to glue this on uh, properly, and maybe it's a bit, uh, there's not enough in there now, so there is a way you can add some back in there. So what we're going to do is just poke a hole right in the middle just be careful you don't rip any of the glue seams we've made. Something like 
that. Not too big, just not too big, just something like that. And then what you can do is actually stuff some back in with your finger. So mine is a little bit loose here, so I'm going to add some more. That's pretty good for now. I could always add some more later if I need to. You don't have to seal off this hood. Nothing should really come out of there. And it allows you to take some out or add some in later too. So now what we want to do is we're going to add this cardboard piece that goes along the back, kind of along the wall of the minion's body. Around like this. About 10 inches long is about where we want to be. in terms of length. But we'll go a bit longer just to start and we can shorten it later. Okay. And then if you'll remember we left about four inches from here to here which is now the gap that we have in behind. So from the middle at the, which will be the back we'll go four inches. And what we'll do is we'll kind of add a curve from there. We're going to fit it in, see if it fits first. Now what I would recommend is whatever cardboard you use, don't use the colored stuff on the outside of, of the minion. We want to go like this so that it's a flat color, otherwise you might see a bit of this through the fabric. So we want it to be, the cardboard to be right up against the seam we have here. And you'll see we're pretty good here in terms of the length from here to here in our cardboard. Uh, Going around though, we're a little bit too, too long. Okay, so there you go. So that's pretty good fit as you can see. And uh, so obviously this kind of keeps the, the shape now. So what we can do is if we're happy with that, we can glue it into place. So you want to glue it uh, along the back so that it stays up against the head there and pretty much everywhere a little bit. But again, be careful with the big globs of glue or else you'll see it. What you can even do is as you glue it, go along and make sure there's no folds in the fabric so you keep it nice and smooth along the cardboard there. See? So now we got the basic shape and that cardboard will help keep the minion sort of standing upright instead of just you know flopping around. Okay so now I've drawn some dots here where we're gonna make two more cuts and this is sort of making that dome shape for the the dog's back so we're going to cut on each side from here along and about so about almost two inches wide and then about an inch or so into the blue so just like that don't cut it off though Okay, so now I've already cut this piece for you, um, but you're going to want to cut this out of the cardboard as well. So, the whole thing is about 5 inches tall, high, whatever. So 
So about five inches tall, nine inches wide. This is about two inches tall as well. And this whole hole is about six. And you got a, a cut here. So try and mimic this shape as best you can. So there's a sort of straight edge, but with uh, curved edges there. This is sort of straight along here, but then has a, a slight arch up at the top and then hard corners here. And with approximately these same dimensions, you should be good. So what we're going to do with this piece is when you turn the minion over now, what we want to do now is we're going to create this arch on the back here. So you'll see if we position like this. So the little flaps, those are going to go inside. So you're going to curve it like this, stick it in, and then like something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue, so our back cardboard there, we're going to glue like this. You want to try and get about a 90 degree angle with this cardboard in here. And then after that, what we're going to do is we'll glue these flaps to the, the cardboard on the sides and that'll kind of keep it all together. So you can see, it's going there where my, just where my fingers are. Okay, so now we're going to glue these flaps to the, the inside cardboard that we put in earlier. So now I have them both, both those glued, the flaps now, to the side of the cardboard. And you can see it's starting to, to keep shape a little bit. You'll see how it works. Now what we can do is some of this fabric here is not glued down yet so we'll you know we'll glue a little bit here and maybe here Okay, so now what we're going to do is with those flaps that we cut now, so we want to glue this about one inch from the middle there. So that's where it should meet. So we're left about two inches total of cardboard there. At this point, you can try it on your dog again and make sure that it fits. So obviously their body is going to go in here, legs out through the holes, and head out here. And it should, you know, it's supported on the shoulders and a little bit on the head, so it should sit up pretty nicely like this. Okay, so the next step now is to make the arms of the minion go up like this, or however you want them really. So sort of like this one here. So for this you're going to need some pliers that can cut as well and a coat hanger. In terms of length you want to go about the length of the arm plus a little bit. That's pretty good. So right about where, so about, about the length of the arm here, we're going to bend it down. Up again, like this. So what we'll do is this this part is going to be glued to cardboard so it doesn't spin around and go wherever so it stays in the position we want and then after we'll bend the arm into the the position we want there 
So if you go, just try and keep this nice and straight. Okay. So with this piece like that, we'll go to the inside and you'll see the arm. You can see it right there with the fluff. Fluff is still in it. So we'll push this through. So there you go, you see it's in there? And the cardboard is like this. So we're gonna glue the cardboard. All right, we're gonna glue the wire now to the cardboard to keep that arm in position. You're gonna to wanna to glue this a few times to make sure that it's nice and strong against the cardboard there. And uh, you also wanna make sure you cover any of the sharp edges from the wire so that it doesn't poke the dog either. Okay, so I'm actually gonna add a little piece of cardboard over that for just for reinforcement and to cover the wire in case it, it comes off. Don't want it to poke the dog. Just something like that. Okay, and then uh, we'll do the same to the other arm. Okay, so now I've got both arms done with cardboard over the the wire. As you'll see, they'll both stand up nice like that. Now what we can do is bend the arms into the position we like, whether it's like this or however way you want to have them. So for this, just make sure that as you bend it, you hold the wire here against the cardboard because we don't want it to rip off as we're bending it. I think just something like that. Maybe a bit more. There we go. And the other one. There we go. So at this point, I would recommend you once again try it on the dog, make sure it fits. And if you need to make any adjustments, then now would be the time to do it. In the meantime, we can do the overalls now. So uh, this is the front of the overalls. On each side, we're going to cut along the seam and continue up to make a a full U shape there. And then on the back of the overalls, we're going to cut right down to the the main seam between the legs there. So we're going to cut like that. So right down to here. Right down, don't cut past the seam, just like that. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll add the Velcro pieces we need. There's already Velcro that are on the pants themselves, on the straps, so that part is okay. But we need to add some Velcro on the inside here. So I'm going to add the, the soft side of the Velcro for this part. Cut a little square. There we go. And we're going to glue it right on the opposite side of where it has the original Velcro. Add a nice big glob of glue. And we'll put that right on there. Ouch.
if you can actually sew these onto the pants themselves that would actually be best because sometimes the, the velcro will rip off on these sort of things if there's too much pressure on it okay so then what we're going to do now i recommend you put this on your dog to measure where we're going to put the velcro now okay so now we're going to try it on our dog so we have crusoe here he's a good boy yeah good boy So here's the, the caution that we've been working on here. All the glue is dried, the wires are covered, so it's safe to put on our dog. So now what we want to do is we want to check where, where to put the other Velcro pieces for this, based on your dog. So this will go the feet over like this. And there's two pieces we're working with here. So these ones are going to go somewhere like there. And this front piece is going to go somewhere a bit higher up. So this one, our first Velcro piece, I'd say would go right about there. And then the other piece is going to be quite a bit higher up about here. We have our X's here. We can take our Velcro and we're going to add a little piece over each X. And you just put them in the same spots on the other side. But since they're pretty much all going to be in a row, I'm just going to take one piece like this and put it over. So it'll go just like that. Okay, so now the last thing we have to do is once you try the costume on again, put these on test your, your Velcro works and is in the right place. And then, however, based on however long your dog's legs are, you might have to roll up the pants. So here's another pair I did. And you can see I had to roll them up right to the, right to the seam. We'll let that dry for a minute and then we'll try it on one more time for the last time. So our Velcro should now go up and reach there, just like that. And the front part will go to the middle at the back. And there you pretty much have it. Now we got the arms like this. You can adjust the hands a bit if you want. The overalls fit good. You want to make sure that they're not too long or they might trip over them as they're walking. So that's why I do them up pretty high. Those fit good. And then, watch this one. I do. Okay. So you see we have the Velcro there. They're all touching the So we have the Velcro here, so obviously these are the front ones. This is the back one we put on. And once again, to take it off, you just undo the Velcro. Pants off first. Take it by both sides in the front. Gently pull forward, let them step out. There you go. Okay. So there we pretty much have our Minions costume.